almost 50 years ago, my father went home to be with the Lord. He was only 57 years old. I couldn't understand why. When something tragic happens, the first thing we do is question God. Why? Why did this happen, God? Why is this happening to me? Why is it happening to my family? Is it okay to ask God why? Let's talk about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. You know, throughout the Bible, people ask God questions all the time. I mean, even Jesus did. Over in Matthew 27, 46, he said, My God, my God, why has, hast thou forsaken me? You know, there are several instances in the Bible where people ask God questions, and he never rebuked them for it. So yes, I think it's okay to ask God why, but you may not get the answer that you're looking for, or at least that you want to hear. <laughs> How many times have you asked God um, if he was really listening to you? I remember back in California, I was having an issue. I went out back and I just started, God, where are you? I was pacing the backyard, where are you? I don't hear you, I don't feel you. Do you even hear me anymore? Are you listening? <laughs> if we don't hear from God or don't like his answer, you know, what's the first thing most of us would do? We turn away, we're upset, we walk away. Or we turn around and we'll challenge him. I mean, how many times do you want to pick a fight with God? <laughs> you know, not the thing to do. But what we should do is go to him humbly. Humble ourselves before him because his ways are higher than our ways. Over in Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. Are my thoughts higher than your thoughts? See, when we question God, our true hearts are revealed. Do we question God with humility, uh, ready to accept his will? Or are we questioning God? Um, why? Because we want what we want God to bend to our needs and what we really want in our will. That's the thing we gotta we gotta juggle. We gotta think of why are we asking the question to God? So we need to remember, as the Apostle Paul said in Second Corinthians twelve nine. But he said to me, and this was God talking to them: My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. See, that's a promise from God right there. Paul goes on to say, Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power may rest on me. See, our hope is never found in having our questions answered, uh, but in knowing, in knowing and trusting God, whose ways are higher and beyond our comprehension. See, the truth is we don't live on expectations. We wouldn't accept that. We live on his promises. I will never leave you nor forsake you. My, my grace is sufficient for you. I go to prepare a place. These are all promises from God. And in difficult times and pain, we should cling to those promises as we turn to God. God bless you, everyone. I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.